Hello, my name is Laurel. Welcome back to the land of Kakiak, where I am homeschooling my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our homeschool education. Today, I'm continuing on in my math kickoff series on building a bridge curriculum to Saxon math uh, and the RC goal of math fact mastery through the 12s uh, before you hit that book. So we've been working on the abacus using my abacus flashcards on TPT or Teachers Pay Teachers if you want to pick those up. Um, and I will show you how I'm using them today to demonstrate three digit addition. I love using these flashcards, so I will introduce the concept to the kids and then I will just give them a, the, the stack of cards with the facts, you know, the, the problem on one side and the answers are on the back in the form that they would see them on their abacus so they can check their answer when they're done. Once they've mastered this, I know how they use the abacus, they've had a good amount of practice just doing math and um, understanding place value and bonded numbers like, you know, 7 and 3 equal 10. You know, six and four equal ten always, and um, borrowing um, as well. You'll see that when we regroup, that's the equivalent of how we borrow and carry over um, when we're doing it on paper. So we will start by zeroing out our abacus, and I will give you some example problems from the pack. Okay, so your beads should always be usually start them on your left side. I'm trying to mirror you here. And then we're going to start with our first number, 503. So we always start with the ones place, so three ones, zero tens, and five one hundreds. That is 503. And now we're going to add 129. Again, starting in the ones place, we're going to add nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to regroup eight, nine. Okay, now we're moved to the tens. We have two tens and 20 and to the one hundreds place and we have one one hundred. That should give me one, two, three, four, five, six hundred and thirty two. And then I can check my answer and see if my answer matches and it does. Okay, let's move on. Let's try another one. Let's try. These ones are fun. So zero it out. We're going to try 999 plus 999. Okay, so we're going to start by putting 999. So that's nine ones, nine tens, nine one hundreds, 999. Now we are going to add 999 starting with the ones. So we're going to add one, right? Then we're going to regroup. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we add the tens. We had nine tens. But this is already maxed out, so I immediately need to regroup and add nine tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay. And I need to do the same for the 100s. It's already full. I immediately need to regroup and add on my nine 100s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred. So my answer reads 1,998. And does that match my card? It does. Good. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll do one more together from the pack. Let's see. What about this one? 180 plus 873. Okay, so we start in the ones place. There were in 180 zero ones. There are eight tens and one 100. 180. Now we're going to add on 873. Starting in the ones, we add on the three. There are seven tens. So this is one, two, regroup. Three, four, five, six, that's 70 right there. 
and there are eight 100s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800. We can just go ahead and regroup that for simplicity. And does that look like my answer on the back? It does. Okay. So we know we're getting right answers here and we can trust our abacus skills. We're getting pretty good at addition and you could keep going. I didn't make numbers higher than three digit addition because I figure by the time they're doing math that high, they're probably in some kind of book. But um, it's a great way to get familiar with place value, borrowing, you're starting, you start in the ones place, tens place, you move you know, over to larger place values. And because that's the same pattern you're gonna follow when you're doing math on paper. And next I will move us on to subtraction.